Are you thinking about quitting? I got a text message the other day that said, what do you tell yourself when you're ready to quit? No, yeah, no, everything's fine. Hey, listen, I quit. The definition of quit is give up, stop trying, accept or acknowledge defeat. I had to tell the texter, I never think of quitting. I don't think that way. I'm not wired that way. And I'll tell you why. I think it was about my senior year of college and I was working at this sporting goods store near Detroit. I had a very difficult boss and he seemed to be on me every single day. I felt like I was the target of his attention. I went home and I told my dad, I said, look, I need to quit. This is too much for me. I just can't take working for this particular boss. Do you know what he said? He looked at me and he said, look, if you learn to work with this boss, if you can adapt, no matter how difficult it feels right now, you'll be able to work with anyone, anywhere for the rest of your life. I have to say to you today, I didn't quit. I changed my attitude. I changed my position in the way I looked at the situation. It became a personal challenge for me to overcome. Quitting wasn't an option. Let me ask you a question, Joanna. What do you think of a person who only does the bare minimum? Huh, what do I think? Um, you know what, Stan? If you want me to wear 37 pieces of flair like your uh, pretty boy over there, Brian, why don't you just make the minimum 37 pieces of flair? Well, I thought I remembered you saying that you wanted to express yourself. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I do. I do want to express myself. Okay, then I don't need 37 pieces of flair to do it. Quitting, giving up, throwing in the towel, surrendering and accepting defeat was not an option for me. And it's still not to this day. Obviously, circumstances alter cases. Each situation is unique. Watch this. Any problem is an opportunity. It's an invitation to discover yourself and to expand your growing edges. It's how you position yourself to that problem that will make all the difference in the world. I wanna share with you three reasons why you should quit. Number one, if you don't have anything to replace what you have, don't quit. To me, that's common sense, but people do it all the time. They'll quit their job just because they're mad. They'll quit their job because somebody talked to them the wrong way. They quit their job because somebody rolled their eyes at them, but they don't have anywhere to go after that. If you don't have anything to replace what you're doing, don't quit. You have a better chance of getting a job if you have a job. Number two, if you have no idea what you're gonna do next, don't quit. You have to have a plan. Number three, if you can't communicate about your current situation without breaking out into tears, without getting angry, without getting emotional, without complaining. I'm starting a new company and the fish will come with me. You can call me sentimental, the fish, they're coming with me. You just might need to take some time to get yourself together first. Have you ever considered perhaps the job is not the problem? What if it's the way you're looking at the situation, the way you're viewing it? Your view might be skewed. Change your attitude toward the situation. Have a plan and never, ever accept defeat. See you next time.